Hey, it's Benji Cole, son of Al Cole from CBS Radio and host of People of Distinction. The talk that gives an in-depth view of some of the most dynamic, intelligent, and successful people on the planet. Run to our website, peopleofdistinction.org, for more info. Or you can always email me directly at benji at alcoholenterprises.com. And on the line with us today, we have Sam Johnny. We're going to be discussing his amazing book, One Touch Nursing Calculations. Nursing Calculations Made Easy. Available for purchase through Amazon, BarnesandNoble.com, or directly through the publishing company, AuthorReputationPress.com. And if you haven't figured it out already, Sam was brought to our network, People of Distinction, by that same publishing company. That's right, ARP. So if you or anybody you know have a book that they'd like moved, give yourself the best gift you could possibly give. Contact ARP and have them move it for you. And again, you can find out more information on them at AuthorReputationPress.com. And people, listen, it is an absolute pleasure to have Sam here on the line. Now, right there in the title, there's no, there's no beating around the bush, okay? You know what we're discussing today. This book is a fantastic resource, okay, for practicing nurses or students, okay, because it's an educational resource directly for them. Now, Sam, when he was going through his schooling, found that, all of the formulas, right, for the different medications, and there's a lot of them, okay? And in his own words, and my significant other can attest to this, right, the doctors prescribe the medicine, the nurses give them to the patients. Well, there's a lot that goes into it, okay? It's not just a matter of giving the medication. You need to make sure that you're giving the proper amount, and you're also giving the proper medication. And there's so much intricacies that go into that. And... I am not someone that is in the medical field, but my significant other is. She's a nurse practitioner and has been for a number of years. And she was a nurse prior to that for about 13, 14 years. So she is someone that can absolutely attest to everything that Sam has written about and everything that Sam is about to discuss. So whether you're someone in the medical profession or someone that just wants a fantastic education, sit back, strap in, have your notebooks ready because Sam... Is about to take us back to the classroom. And without further ado, he's the expert. He's written the book, and he's going to be able to articulate everything much better than I ever could. So let's bring him here with us. Sam, first and foremost, man, welcome to People of Distinction, and thank you very much for being a guest. How are you doing today? Great, Sam. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Absolutely. Well, listen, it's truly a pleasure. I think what you're doing here is profound, right? The education is second to none, and you know better than many others the complications that can come with being a nurse and not having those medications uh, memorized, right? Not having the formulas memorized because there's a lot that goes into it. But of course, there's so much information you have. How do you possibly memorize all of them? So I love what you're doing here. I know a lot of medical professionals that will be able to really appreciate what you're doing here. As I said, my significant other included. Now, Sam, before we go into your book, I think it's important that we learn a little bit more about your background. So let's start there. Tell our listening audience a little bit more about yourself, please. Uh, my, my name is Sam Johnny, as you said, and I've been a nurse for uh, six, uh, 28 years now. So I've been in the field Fantastic. for a long time. Man. Yeah. And um, I... Many many occasions, yeah, I have to give medications, and there were times when I, I, I don't really, yeah, not even remember the formula. So I come by this, um, this strategy when I was going for an um, a, an interview in Columbia Presbyterian uh, Hospital in New, in New York City. That is when I. I, I went there. I wasn't informed that I was going to uh, take an exam, so I did not go over my formula for calculating uh, medication. So I had to come by the formula, and I've been using it uh, for uh, for more than 20 years now, and it it works every time. And I taught it to a lot of my friends and, and colleagues and nursing students I know and it, it works all the time. 
So that that is why, you know, I want to bring this message out for anybody, um, for people to use it, you know, to use it because it works. You know, Sam, let's talk about inspiration for a second. Now, I, I think it's safe to assume the answer to this next question, but you know what happens when you assume, Sam, so I'm not going to do that to you. I have you here on the line, man. I'm just going to come right out and ask. Talk to us about what inspired you to do this. So you're talking about your experience where you had to come up with this formula when you weren't even told that you were going to be taking an exam. So this very easily could have been information that stayed in your mind or a book that you that you wrote that stayed on your personal shelf, but you didn't do that, right? You took it a step further and you wanted to put the book out for the public as well. Talk to us about what inspired you to do so. Like I said, I, I came across this um, strategy and uh, I want to share it. I'm more a teacher than, um, yeah. So I, I want the, the I want nurses to be comfortable when they're doing their job. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's why I wrote. Uh, this and I came up with this strategy, and I, I'm sharing it. Um, I have to share it. I feel it's my duty and obligation to let everybody enjoy it, and that's why, and that's what I'm doing. Next question that I wanted to go to, sticking with inspiration. Now, when it comes to creative writing, I mean, was writing something that was always a hobby of yours growing up? Were there artists that inspired you? Talk to us a little bit more about where that love for language and writing comes from. I'm, I'm I'm more a, a, a teacher, you know. I I'm more a teacher. <laughs> there you have it. It was almost yeah. an obligation, right? I mean, you just in order for you to get your teaching out, you had to write the book. Yeah, I have to, I have to write. I have to bring this thing out so people will know um, about this and use it. Um, it will. Because sometimes uh, this, some of these calculations, um, when you forget a formula, it becomes a challenge for a nurse, you know. And uh, because it's a challenge, uh, people do sometimes make mistakes in that, you know. But by using this strategy, there's no way you can go wrong. You will always get it all the time, all the time. That's, that's why I bring it up. Now, here, with this next question, I I may be cheating a little bit here, Sam, because my listening audience knows, guys, if you want to gather all of the information, you want to get all of the tips that are supplied, there's no getting around it. Amazon, Barnes & Noble, AuthorReputationPress.com, you have to pick up your copy, okay? But, Sam, since we have you here on the line, I'd love to just come right out and ask, man. For any nursing students listening in or any practicing nurses now, that are going through and they're having troubles memorizing some formulas or remembering some formulas, what are some words of wisdom? What are some advice that you can offer them as a helpful tip to work themselves out of such a crunch? Um, yeah, I, I think the, the best thing is to, to get a book. And um, I, when, I, when I started the book by using simple strategies, um, by Talking about how many uh, how many cents are in two dollars, how many cents are in two dollars, and then the approach is so practical, you know. And like like I said, you know, you the, the, the doctor orders the medication, and the nurse has to find out how much medication to give uh, to the patient. Like for example, Tylenol, Tylenol. I know anybody who who has headache uses Tylenol or aspirin, mm-hmm. and Tylenol comes in um, like um, pill form, like it's three twenty five milligrams for it, for it, for one pill. And um, when a doctor doctor orders nine seventy five milligrams or six fifty milligrams, you have to know how many how many tablets you have to give to the patient, and that is when uh, this uh, approach of finding how much you give to the patient comes into play. And that's when my book becomes so essential. Yeah, like I said, you know, we, are, we, we are taught a formula in nursing school. We learn them, but because we don't use them every day of our working hours, we tend to forget this formula. And you need something on hand when, 
when it becomes very important, you know, because there are emergencies in the hospital and you, you need to get an approach that works all the time. And that is when uh, this approach of getting how much medication to, be, to give to the patient comes in. And medications, they come in different forms, in IVs, in um, even in, in the ICU, in the emergency room. Um, you need you need this approach so that you work is it works very fast and it's very efficient. And that's what I would say. And I think that is needed. It makes the work it simplifies the work and it makes it more fun. Mm-hmm. You know, Sam, what would you say was a highlight for you in writing the book, or if not a highlight, maybe something that surprised you that you weren't anticipating before you began on the journey. Uh, on on this on this journey, uh, it was the aha moment. You know, when I went for the exam in uh, Presbyte- Columbia Presbyterian, and I forgot all the formula, and I came up with this strategy, and it works. It was the, it was that was the aha moment for me. You know? And the fact that fact that I've been using it for years, and it worked 100 percent all the time. You know, I. I'm very excited about this. It's a lot of fun, and and that's why um, I'm sharing the strategy too. I want everybody to have a taste of this this uh, this strategy. Who would you? And and I think we've already covered this, but again, the message I think is so profound, and it's worth repeating and doubling down on. If we have, who would you say is your intended audience, Sam? And what are you hoping to see them take from the book? Uh, the, the audience will be all nurses, all the young nurses. Uh, it brings the fun into nursing calculations, again, into uh, medication calculations. All nursing students around the globe can benefit from this book. And it's, some, it's a strategy you learn once and it stays with you. You don't have to go back and relearn it because it goes step by step. It takes you step by step. And once you learn a strategy, uh, it stays with you the rest of your life. And you can share it with anybody. And with you can do your calculations with vim and confidence. You know, and that's what I want everybody to have a taste of. Absolutely. That confidence. You know, Sam, what's next for you, man? We know about this book, which is a fantastic resource, going to be beneficial to so many nurses out there. What's next for you, man? Is there another resource book on the horizon? You said you're a teacher. Well, is there more education to come? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I'm thinking about, you know, like nurses, we, we, we treat patients. So not, not that we treat patients. We... Our approach to patient care is with systems, you know. I want to come up with, like, book on re- uh, res- respiratory system, books on card- card- cardiac system, and that's what I'm doing. But, but I, will, I will separate them so it's easy for people to uh, to, uh, to <laughs> use it to care for, the, for their patients, you see. Mm-hmm. That's what's on the rise. There you have it, people. The gift that keeps on giving. I'm telling you, Amazon, Barnes & Noble, AuthorReputationPress.com. Check back in frequently. As he just stated, there's other ones on the horizon as well. And all fantastic educational resources. You know, last question here, Sam. I know you are you don't consider yourself a writer at heart. But listen, man, you've written a book, okay? And you've gone the gauntlet. You've gone through the gauntlet and gotten it published so anybody that could say otherwise, I don't know where they're coming from. You, in my opinion, are a bona fide author. And because of that, I want to take an opportunity and ask this next question. Now, I'm an artist myself, and I'm in a different medium, but I love having this platform to be able to utilize, to pay it forward, in a sense, the other artists listening in. Now, as I mentioned, you're someone that has written a narrative. You've gone through the process. You've gotten it published as well. For any new writers out there listening in, someone just starting off on their journey, what are some words of wisdom that you can offer to really help them along the way? 
uh, that when you you have come across a knowledge or you have come across or you use something an idea and it works for you you have you have to by all means find a way to share it with the world mm -hmm. because the world needs people who have ideas and together we'll make the world better so ideas are very important uh, you get an idea about anything at all you have to find a way to share it to the world uh, before it's too late absolutely i love that absolutely love that and people you know what i love even more we're at the end of the interview now. We've discussed so much information pertaining to Sam's book, but yet somehow we've barely scratched the surface. You know what you have to do to gather the rest of it. Amazon, Barnes & Noble, AuthorReputationPress.com. Head on over there today. Pick up your copy of One Touch Nursing Calculations. Nursing Calculations Made Easy by Sam Johnny. You surely will not be disappointed. A wonderful book to add to your shelf and even better gift to add to someone else's. Head on over there today and pick up your copies. Sam, this has been an absolute pleasure, such an honor. Thank you once again for being a guest on People of Distinction. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you. And you have a great day.